In Privacy Watch now, top cybersecurity firm FireEye says that its systems have been breached by state-sponsored hackers. Now, FireEye, FireEye rather, usually works to counter and investigate cyber attacks on government agencies and private companies, but were themselves targeted when hackers stole the company's own hacking tools, which they used to probe for security vulnerabilities in clients' computer systems. While FireEye has not singled out a country of origin for the attack, evidence appears to point to Russian intelligence services. So to explain what this all means is CBSN technology reporter Dan Patterson. So Dan, thank you so much for joining us. Most people have never heard of FireEye before, but it's probably affected their lives in some way, shape, or form. So let's just give everyone some context. FireEye, what does this company do? So FireEye, Emory is one of the largest and um, most well-respected firms in cybersecurity. They develop software and sometimes even hardware that is designed to detect and prevent cyber attacks, kind of like this one that just happened. Their clients are everyone from JP Morgan to Target to the U.S. government, even Sony they were brought in after the movie hack. So um, they have built a suite of tools uh, that is kind of designed to do what exactly happened to them, uh, probe and uh, detect and sometimes stop, but other times swipe cyber tools. So that's what makes this particularly interesting. Okay, so FireEye calls these tools uh, the Team Red tools. What sort of damage could they do if they are now in the wrong hands? Okay, so when you hear the jargon phrase red team tools, um, what you should think is offensive. So think about, I, I'm sorry to use a sports metaphor, but kind of think about a football game. You have an offensive line and a defensive line, right? These are the tools that are designed to probe um, for vulnerabilities. So oftentimes companies would hire a firm like CyberEye to say, hey, find all of the flaws in our computer systems. Uh, but of course, in the wrong hands, offensive tools can be used to probe all kinds of things uh, like an enemy's computer systems. Um, so let me put what happened yesterday in some at least uh, recent historical context. Uh, in 2016, a group called Shadow Brokers released tools that they say they swiped from the NSA uh, called Eternal Blue. Uh, initially, they tried to um, sell these tools, and then they just released them on the internet. The tools were then modified, and a year later, we started to see this wave of ransomware that continues. It attacked uh, the British healthcare system, cities across the United States, and as that tool was kind of used and sold and metastasized, uh, it was used for all sorts of different purposes. Now, my sources that I spoke to last night as this occurred said everything from yawn, it's no big deal, their tools aren't that good, to OMG, this is <laughs> Eternal Blue Part 2, and just wait for what comes next. Okay, well, that doesn't leave me... I mean, I understand a lot more than I did, uh, you know, before this conversation, but still, you have no idea just how far this, this, this could go. Um, so FireEye says, you know, this is the work of a nation state. They're not saying which nation state, but everyone else seems to be suggesting that it's Russia. Why is there a general, general belief within this community that Russia is responsible for this? Well, um it's hard to, with any cyber attack, it's hard to uh, give attribution right away. And so you should kind of be skeptical anytime you hear uh, so-and-so was revol uh, involved with uh, an attack. However, uh, the forensic evidence on this, and again, according to my own sources, uh, is leads us towards not just Russia, but a group called APT29. Now, this is Cozy Bear, the code name for a group inside Russia um, the GRU, along with uh, other Russian intelligence services, that was responsible for the DNC hack in 2016 and uh, Olympic Destroyer, the attack against the Olympic Games uh, in South Korea. This group is a notorious, uh, again, what in the words of one of my sources, bringer of chaos. They like to do things that are unexpected. So where maybe we were all kind of watching for APT29 to directly attack the elections in 2020, they zigged instead of zagged and went after cyber tools 
um, with what what many of my sources are saying is totally unexpected, but right in character with this group. So again, we don't have final forensic results on this, but the behavior patterns sure points to APT 29. So tell me that FireEye you know, sort of plan for the possibility of something like this happening and has, you know, some measures put in place to protect us? Uh, yeah, almost every cyber firm has countermeasures in place. The problem is that almost every cyber firm, just like the NSA and our own government, is incredibly opaque. We try as journalists to kind of learn what some of these countermeasures are, uh, but the arguments that are made are, hey, look, if we tell you our tools and techniques and our tactics, uh, we reveal things that would allow other bad guys in. Uh, so uh, I, it's hard to say exactly what they did. I'm sure they had encrypted defensive perimeters, maybe air gaps, but um, look, if it's connected to the internet, it can and at some point will be hacked, including the cyber tools of the world's best hackers, FireEye. And clearly it's what we seem to be learning uh, monthly at this point. Uh, Dan, thank you so much. Great to see you.